Leo, hello, and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your weekly tarot reading starting this new week of July the 29th up until August the 5th. If you would like to also watch the link to the extended, you can find the link to that in the description box below. And also you can find it in the comments that are pinned down below. And for any personal reading inquiries, which I've been receiving a lot, you can look at the description box um, below as well. The link is down there. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into your dominant energy and you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the drum roll okay so you have here the number four if you see the number four 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 zero four just remind yourself that you are very stable you are on a very firm stable foundation even if things seem like they're falling apart like you're freaking out like oh my god what's gonna happen but I do see here that, you know, there's going to be a sense of stability coming to your life very soon. This is also related to your finances. If you've been kind of like worried about your financial situation, I see here that financially things are going to start looking much better. Of course, this reading is a general reading. So this could be literally pertaining to any area of your life, love, career, family, friends, coworkers, you know, a boss, a project that you're working on, um, whatever this is, family members as well. Okay. But here you have rest and rejuvenate. So this is going to be some kind of a, a week for you to take a break, to rest, to recover, to reconsider, to rejuvenate, spend some time out in nature. If you have not really spent some time out in nature, take a walk to the park, go to hiking, you know, even being around trees, water, waterfalls, anything that, you know, is nature based. This is also the energy of grounding, ground yourself, you're going to be, um, you know, kind of, uh, I feel like it's going to be very necessary for you to really ground your energy. Walking on grass is very grounding walking on mud, dirt, dirt more than anything, right more than mud. Walking on dirt, walking on grass, with you know, your shoes taken off, take off your socks, barefoot, that's very grounding energy. You're grounded to Mother Earth nature. Okay. Now I'm seeing here that this also has to do with some kind of an energy where you've been overworked, overstressed. You might be very tired and exhausted and you may not be giving yourself a break, the break that you need. This is also calling for rejuvenation. Perhaps some of you guys need to get back in touch with who knows, maybe taking care of yourself, taking care of your needs, your desires. This is uh, some kind of an energy here coming in having to do with take care of you. Because even if you want to help another person, if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling exhausted, if you're not financially stable, how can you possibly help that person or other people if the source, which is you, is not on a stable foundation, right? So you need to take care of you first. That's something that a lot of you may not understand and you're overworking, overstressing. So again, make sure that the source, which is you, is stable. Okay, now let me know in the comments below what this is all pertaining to. But as you can see here, uh, that young man, he's kind of meditating. This is also calling for you to get back in touch with your spirituality, not only with nature, but also meditation, yoga, anything having to do with spirituality, connecting, reconnecting with the essence of you, of who you are, your soul. Because when you get caught up in day-to-day -day life type of things with family, with friends, with responsibilities, you unconsciously kind of uh, disconnect from that essence, which is you. Okay, so reconnect. This is going to be very important for you to do this this week. You know, uh, go to a spa, get a pedicure, get a manicure, go get a haircut, you know, uh, get a facial, whatever it is, a massage for some of you. Now let's go ahead and jump into the tarot. All right, so let's see. I will be taking a look at your past, present, future position. Also, who and what is coming towards you? What is in your opportunity? Also, um, what is in your challenge position and how to overcome that challenge? Comment down below, even if it's just commenting down an emoji because it really helps support my channel since the YouTube algorithm had been shadow banning my channel, hiding it from all of you guys and unsubscribing you know, a, a lot of my subscribers. So thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, support, comments down below. It really helps support my channel. All right. So you could be dealing with the sign of Leo. I see the sign of Libra. 
could be Taurus, Aries, whatever sign this is could be literally any of the signs. You have here the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So with the Four of Swords, look at that. This literally exactly the same energy, resting, recovering, right? This man here, he's literally laying on a bed. He's laying on a bed. Okay, and so this one's sitting down. They're not taking action. They're not running. They're not walking. They're resting. Give yourself some time to rest. Give yourself a break. Even if your mind is like, no, but you have to do this, but you have to do that. Trust me. A lot of times what happens is the mind keeps telling you, no, but you have a whole like to-do list that you have to finish. You have to do this and that and this and that. If you listen to the mind all the time, you will not be able to listen to your soul, to your spirit, to the messages that the universe, your spirit guides, your angels are trying to send your way. Are, they're actually sending those messages your way, but you're not receptive to them because you're always on the go, right? It's like always the mind is activated. And this is a time for you taking a step back so that you can more effortlessly start manifesting instead of manifesting or creating something with action, action, action. Again, rest, recovery, reconsidering something, and even healing. Give yourself a break. If you have an injury and you're still working out, going to the gym, or doing things that you're not supposed to be doing, take a break before you worsen whatever it is that's happening, okay? Let me know in the comments below what that's all about. And again, the number four here, right? Four, four, four. That's very, um, that's very important, a very important number for you this week. Now, I'm going to be going into different positions. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. The way that the readings work here on my channel is I do general readings. So take the reading however resonates for you. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, so uh, this could be related to literally any area of your life, love, career, family, friends, okay, a loved one, uh, fa uh, I did say family, finances, co-workers, bosses, ideas, projects that you're working on, whatever this is. Okay, but say for example, in this position, for some of you guys, this position might resonate for you in your career. For others, this position might resonate for you in your love life. This other position over here, that might resonate for you in your family life. This other position over here, that might resonate for you in your personal life. But however resonates for you, take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't. So in your challenge position, I do see here that right now you're kind of feeling like a little bit like you don't feel the spark at one point you did feel the spark you did feel that energy of inspiration whether it was passion inspiration towards a career towards a job towards a person a connection a situation an idea here that you were working on but I feel that right now that um, kind of spark is kind of diminishing whether it's again in a connection in an idea with regards to a job you know, something that you were getting involved in on. But listen, I'm picking up on this energy where someone who is very different to you, they have ideas that are very different to your ideas. This person might be very difficult to get along with. I'm sensing that this person has been having great influence over you. I'll tell you why. Because you're exhausted. You're tired. When a person is overworked, overstressed, tired, they're not in tune with themselves. You're disconnected from yourself, your heart chakra, your real truth, your desires. And so therefore you become more susceptible to those energies, you know, those energy vampires, they say, that come in and they want to kind of like suck the life out of you or they start feeding you information, things start like, you know, feeding you negativity and fear and doubt and insecurity and, oh, you're not going to be able to do that. Oh, no, that's a really bad idea, right? And so I feel that right now you're becoming susceptible to those energies of people around you or one particular person who thinks very differently than you because you are exhausted. And that's why I'm saying, if you take a break, you will see, wait a minute, it's not that I don't really want to invest in this idea, in this connection. It's not that I'm not really feeling it anymore. It's not that I'm really feeling disconnected from it, from my job. It's that I'm just exhausted. You're going to realize that. Okay. And so then I feel that you're going to start realizing that this person who's been feeding you a bunch of rubbish, you're going to start realizing that either they're jealous of you, they are 
you know, very negative about what you want to create in your life, right? And right now, I feel like somebody here, this person might be stopping you from doing something that you really want to do. It's like you're starting to, you know, um, create doubts and fears and insecurities. But instead of you letting them stop you, you have to stop them. You have to stop yourself from allowing them to stop you, if that makes sense. Okay. Because since when do you take orders from anybody? Since when? You don't. That's not your nature. But because you're tired, you're exhausted, you're overworked, you're overstressed, you're allowing these vibrations to have an influence over you. Okay, instead of you having an influence over your own wishes, dreams, and desires. This can be related to career matters, family, finances, friends, a job, an idea that you're working on, projects, whatever this is for you. Okay, I'm seeing here that also somebody is spying on you, or there could be some spying going on, whether you know you towards them, them towards you. For others, if you're making a decision right now to stop a process because you were like, no, well, at first I kind of felt like I, you know, I, I was going to do this. I was going to invest in this connection or whatever, uh, an idea or a project career, but then you're kind of feeling like you're not sure. I feel that you don't have enough information yet. Wait for more information to come in, ask those questions, do the research. You don't have enough information to stop the process yet. I feel like right now it's too early on in whatever area of your life this is pertaining to. Let me know in the comments below. But like I said, this person and you, you guys are very different from each other. Okay. You guys might come from different backgrounds. This person might be, you know, into something completely different than what you're into and, or they think completely differently than what you, how you think or whatever you're into, they're not into. And so that's why I'm saying you can mediate the connection. You guys can get along, right? But again, don't allow this person to influence you in the way that I feel like they have been. Okay. Let me know in the comments below what that's all about and what this is pertaining to, because I see here that right now, stay strong. You have to stay strong and be strong because I feel like somebody here might be, you know, um, it's like right now you're not tapped into your confidence. Okay. Now let's go ahead and see in the recent past. So you have the queen of cups, the emperor and the knight of swords. So in the recent past here, I do see that. Yeah, there was this energy here where there was a lot of love uh, for some of you guys. If this is a family situation, love situation for others, if this is career related business or a project here that you're working on, I feel like um, you were invested in this project career. Um, and there was some kind of attachment to it, okay? You were attached to it emotionally. There was some kind of attachment there because either you put in a lot of work into this, you put in a lot of effort into this. But I am sensing here that there was some kind of an energy where either you had to abide by some kind of rules or structure, that kind of vibe, okay? And somebody ended up getting triggered, whether, whether this was a person here who was trying to boss you around, telling you what to do, that kind of vibe, okay? And or it could be the opposite, where you knew more than this person and they didn't take it the right way when you tried to kind of like tell them, hey, you know what? Um, this is how you do it. It's not that's not the way that you're you're supposed to be doing it. It's this way. I feel like somebody here ended up getting triggered, whether this is career related, family, love, whatever this is. I see here that, you know, you you were kind of coming across as a leader, okay? Like you knew more than they knew, or there was some kind of energy there where you either had like an upper hand, something of that matter. Of course, this could be vice versa, but I'm sensing this was you. And I feel like, you know, you may have said something, done something that didn't go or didn't sit very well with this person who's overly sensitive and somebody ended up lashing out. Whether they got triggered, you got triggered, somebody here ended up getting triggered and lashing out. I'm also seeing here that in the recent past, somebody here was trying to pressure the other person or they were blaming you. Why are you pressuring me? And you're like, I'm just like guiding you. It's my job. I'm supposed to do this. Or if this was, you know, a connection here, you were trying to help somebody, but instead of them taking it as help, they took it as like, oh, you're being very controlling. Why are you being so controlling? Why are you being a narcissist? And you're like, I'm just trying to help you, right? Something of that matter. Somebody here ended up getting triggered. Let me know in the comments below what that was all about. And was this pertaining to your career, family, relationships, love, friendships, whatever this is. Now, in your current dynamic here, currently speaking, you have the Tower, the King of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. So 
something huge is about to go down, you guys. Something huge is about to happen. I see here that there's going to be a shocking news, shocking revelation. Something here is about to crumble. Don't get scared. Don't panic. I told you, do not panic, okay? Because even if you're thinking, am I stable? Oh my God, what's going to happen? You are stable, okay? And this is going to make you even more stable. What people don't know about the tower moment is that sometimes things have to fall apart before they can come together. And I do see here that right now that's either happening already or about to happen. And this is happening because somebody here has been ignoring the red flags, the signals, you know, and so there's this kind of energy here where whoever has been ignoring these red flags, if this is you, it's like you're sweeping the problem under the rug, right? Stop sweeping the problem under the rug because again, I feel that even if you try to save this situation, this job, business, career, relationship, friendship, whatever this is, you know, because you're ignoring all the red signals. Okay. I feel like it's still going to fall apart because it was never set on a firm foundation. It was set on a very shaky foundation, right? It's kind of like if you hire an engineer and that engineer, um, he's like, oh, well, yeah, uh, I'm going to build this building on that area over there, right? Because there's no other concrete left and he starts building it on a on a sh on a like mud right imagine building this building on mud it's going to fall apart eventually and then you come over and you're like no way but it, no there's mud there and he's like no 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 it's fine it's fine it'll be fine and so he starts building building it's shaking already you know the first floor of the building is shaky and you're like no but it's shaky no it's fine it's fine so you're the one who's been doing the it's fine it's fine could also be somebody doing this with you right where you are the one telling them no 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 there there's something off here right whether it's a relationship, career, connection, business, whatever this is, okay? <sighs> Finally, it's going to fall apart. It's going to crumble. There's going to be something huge, shocking about to go down, okay? Now, don't freak out because this comes with a blessing in disguise. That means that now everything is crystal clear in order for you to start from scratch. I'm seeing here that this is going to reveal some truths to you and or this is you. If you're bringing the tower moment to somebody, then so be it. You might be revealing some truths to somebody starting right now. But I'm seeing here that you're mastering something. You're learning some kind of a lesson. You're mastering something in an area of your life, career related, family related, whatever this is. For some of you guys, I feel like right now you're very emotionally detached from a connection, from a job, from a situation. You're being very practical. You're being very matter of fact, okay? This could also be a person here, how they're behaving with you. But whatever it is here with the nine of wands, I feel that, you know, um, there is something related to a person being very overly um, sensitive and or defensive. So if you have been overly sensitive and defensive, you have to start asking yourself those deeper questions as to why. OK, have you been putting up a wall um, in order to keep away what, right? You don't want to get hurt. You don't want a person to see uh, your vulnerabilities because I feel that by you putting up this wall, you're keeping away the opportunities that want to come in. For some of you guys, somebody here has been so blocked off emotionally and or, you know, in protection mode that again, that's why this tower moment is happening. So bring down those walls. Somebody here might be very defensive right now. And, you know, if this person has been very very defensive towards you and or um, you feel like you've been walking on eggshells around them because they're overly sensitive something's about to go down I feel like you're not going to take it anymore it's like you're going to be like you know what I'm done <laughs> you know now let's go ahead and see in the near future you have here the seven of pentacles the eight of wands and the seven of cups so yeah, in the near future, I see here that at first you're going to be kind of like waiting, waiting, like, okay, I've been putting in a lot of work into this and a lot of effort into this, but I feel like soon you're going to see so many doors of opportunity start opening up for you. You don't even know. You don't even realize what's coming in your near future. Literally so many options, opportunities, things are going to start to take off. Okay. It's going to be like a car rolling down a hill. Imagine that car had the brake on and then all of a sudden you take the brake off and it just rolls down the hill. 
it's unstoppable energy. You can't, nobody can stop that car from rolling down the hill. And the doors of opportunity are going to start opening left and right for you of money, of jobs, okay, of love offers, of friendship offers, of you going to parties. I mean, literally so many opportunities are going to start opening up for you. Don't distract yourself with those shiny things, shiny opportunities, just because they look, you know, shiny on that on the outside, make sure that you focus in on what your heart truly desires, not on what, you know, is taken by your mind or visuals. Okay. Now let's go ahead and um, see also who and what is coming towards you. So in what, who and what is coming towards you in your opportunity, you have your, the five of pentacles reverse, the eight of swords, and also the empress. So I feel that in your opportunity, you're going to have an opportunity to finally recover from your finances, recover financially. You're going to see a lot of progress moving forward when it comes to your finances. And I'm also seeing here that you're going to have an opportunity here to finally liberate yourself from a situation, a job, a relationship, a connection, a family situation, situation, a friendship, whatever this is, that has been making you feel like you're stuck. It's kind of like you're not sure how to get out of it. You haven't been sure how to get out of it, but you're finally going to find the exit. The universe is going to show up with the exit sign. But in order for you to walk through that exit and to liberate yourself, you're going to have to be honest with yourself. It's not going to be easy. You're going to have to cut off that blindfold of denial because you've been sitting in a situation in a job, career, relationship that you, know, um, you haven't been comfortable in. In. But again, this is all about you liberating yourself with honesty, being honest with yourself, being honest with people around you, not pretending to be a victim. Oh, well, you know, woe is me, this and this, that and that. I see here that also you're going to have an opportunity to finally get the help that you need whether it's in a project, career, family related situation, whatever help that it is that you need. The difficult part of this is going to be where you're going to have to ask for it. And knowing you, it's not easy for you to ask for help. Okay. It's not easy for a lot of people to ask for help, especially nowadays. So I see that, um, you're going to have to ask for the help, but don't feel ashamed. Don't feel bad because believe me, there are people out there. Look at this, the Empress. There are literally people out there who are waiting. They are awaiting a moment like this where you finally ask them for help so that they can pay you back for whatever it is that you've done for them. You've helped a lot of people in your life a lot and you know it. And there is no shame in asking for help you know, um, to one of those people who, you know, you've helped. It's not that you're doing it because, oh, well, I've helped you. So you have to help me. No, no, no. It's about that person. There's, there's people around you who are literally awaiting for you to do that. They would be more than happy for you to ask them for help. They are like waiting there in line for you to ask them for help. So do so. Okay. Don't be ashamed. I'm seeing here that with the Empress, you're going to have an opportunity to kind of glow up, you know, to take care of yourself, your beauty, get a haircut, get a new wardrobe, who knows, maybe, um, take a vacation, right? Focus in on you. Okay, beautifying your environment, your home, maybe you're renovating something, maybe you're moving, whatever this is. But I am sensing here that these opportunities are coming in for you. And this is also an energy here where you will be able, like I said, to, you know, um, open up to the energy of manifesting whatever it is that you want, love, money, career, solutions in your life by not overworking. Because the Empress here, the energy of the Empress is, is very kind of like, um, is very chill. Okay. Like the Empress is just sitting, sitting there on the chair. She's a pregnant woman. And whether you are a male or a female, it doesn't matter. Empress energy just means it's a, um, it's the divine feminine energy, learning how to manifest things that you want without you thinking that you have to take action, 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 right? Always using your mind to where you exhaust yourself. Now you have to learn how to attract help your way, attract things towards you. Okay. By you tuning into you, by you feeling, you know, at ease with yourself. Like I said, it's not about overdoing things. It's about taking a rest, taking a break, gathering your energies, uh, recovering from some, something here that you've been going through in order for you to have the energy to start manifesting more effortlessly. Okay.
Okay. Let me know in the comments below what that is all about, what this is pertaining to. Let's go ahead and clarify rest, rejuvenate. You literally have here rest, rejuvenate twice. Again, with the Empress there, that's a third one. So you have here the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Cups. Wow. And the Justice. My goodness. Justice will be served in a situation where there has been some kind of unfairness. Don't worry. There is nothing that you need to do to solve or resolve this issue. A lot of times people think that they have to, you know, um, they have to get karma, right? They have to um, like get justice back or create karma for somebody. And it, that's not your job. It's not anybody's job, but karma's job. And so this is saying here, release the burden of you trying to figure out, you know, okay, well, that person was, un, you know, unfair to me. That situation has been unfair to me. How am I going to make it right? You don't focus on how to make it right. You just focus on you, okay, on recovering, relaxing, resting, and karma will do the job for you. Karma's coming in. Justice will be served in your favor in some kind of situation where there has been unfairness or injustice. I'm seeing here that also this is beautiful energy. Look at that. The Ace of Cups. The universe is coming in to offer you. This is a huge offer, something huge coming in, a huge offer. The universe coming in to offer you. You, this cup of inspiration, this cup of motivation, of love. For some of you guys, it's a love connection, a new love connection. For others, it's a new beginning in inspiration, in you know, a, a career, a job. This could be a relationship. This could be money-related situations. But the universe is here to offer you more of the things that you love. And I'm seeing here that for some of you guys, yes, you're going to be financially stable. Others, you will be meeting somebody who is very financially stable, very financially fit. And I see here that you're going to be meeting people who are very extroverted, you know, and in nature. And I feel like, you know, you're going to have a chance to put yourself out there to have more fun. I feel like there's going to be a lot of fun to be had. Okay. You're going to be invited out. I feel like there's that energy of, you know, you finally feeling passionate again. That spark of joy is definitely going to be activated. And whatever obstacles um, that you're going through right now, they're going to turn into genuine opportunities. We're going to be going into the uh, extended in a little bit, but before we do that, let's go ahead and go one of these clarifiers. So somebody here is very nervous. If this is you, okay, I'm going to read it two ways. If this is you, you're being very nervous right now. You're feeling nervous. You are uh, feeling very nervous because, you know, somebody is making you feel nervous, but then they make you feel excited in a good way, whether it's a person, a project, something here that you're getting involved in on. Okay. Um, you're either scared to approach that person. You're scared to ask for the help. You're scared to, you know, um, put yourself out there in some kind of way. Okay. But you might be very nervous right now. Now I'm seeing here that somebody around you, might be nervous about you. If this is somebody here that you're dealing with, this person is nervous. You make me feel nervous and excited in a good way. I'm scared to approach you. Ooh, I wonder who that is. Okay. Look at that. That little doggy is sweating there. Now we're going to be going into the extended reading. And in the extended reading is where we dive deeper into this person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how the situation is all going to turn out and unfold for you. What will be the final result? And we will end a reading with any messages from spirit. So if you want to check that out, you could find the link to the extended down in the description box below and also in the comments that are pinned down below. Below as well. And quick announcement here about the new YouTube algorithm that has been affecting my channel. You know, little did I know that the new YouTube algorithm has been unsubscribing my subscribers without their consent, and they didn't even realize that that was happening. So if you do think that you're subscribed to my channel, double check. Are you still subscribed? If you're not, you can resubscribe again. And if you want to refresh the system, you're not getting my notifications whenever I post videos, then you can unsubscribe, then re subscribe again, click the notification bell. And when you click the notification bell, make sure that you click all, because if you do not click all, then the YouTube algorithm will not notify you of upcoming videos. Again, thank you all so much for support. It really helps so much for you guys to comment down below, even if it's just commenting down an emoji or just letting me know how these readings all resonate for you. Because now the new YouTube algorithm, the way that it's working is if I don't get enough likes, comments, 
and subscribes on my channel, then they will hide my videos, not only from the YouTube news feed, but also from you. Okay. And so they're not being shown to viewers. They're shadow banning my channel for whatever reason. So again, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up. It doesn't cost you a thing to give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Okay. Comment down below. Like I said, even if it's just an emoji and also click that notification bell, click subscribe and also to check out all of your readings from last week and your monthly readings, your blessings readings, as well as your mid-monthly readings. You can check out those links in the first comment that I pinned down below. Thank you all so much for your support, your encouragement to stay here on YouTube. Take very good care of yourselves and until next time, bye-bye. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Psych source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on psychic source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my psychic source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.